So I really want to start with congratulations on this. You're both fantastic in this movie. Uh, but I like throwing a curveball at the beginning. So um, I'm curious, like everyone thinks they probably know something about the way it is in Hollywood being an actor. What do you think might surprise people to learn about being an actor in Hollywood? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question because people do know a lot. They know a lot. I, th I think that um, I, th I don't. I don't know if I feel like sometimes it's hard to describe the pleasure that you get in simply doing the work on set. You know, I think that that's I think people see a lot of stuff about the business. I think when they you know, think about like being an actor in Hollywood, you know, there's a lot of information about like um, the size of movies and and locations and costumes and all of that kind of a lot of physical things about production. But but the thing that I love the most and I think that people don't understand is like the sense of play that you have when you're doing something, how much fun it is, how, how hard you laugh, how silly things are, how basic it is. It's like a, <laughs> and it's a very, it's a very like, um, I don't know. It's like, you, you know, we're, you're, you're eating lunch in a parking lot. You're getting your makeup in a trailer. You're, the sun is shining in your eyes. You, you know, you have to be wrapped before the sun goes down. There's, there's a lot of kind of physicality to it, um, wrapped up with like the, the fun. You're just like pretending. <laughs> that's a good, uh, that's a really nice good thing. I was, th I was like thinking of like much shallower things. Were you? Like, let's well, spend hours of your life in makeup. She's shallow. I'm shallow. shallow. She's, She's the deep one. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted That's to say. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I will jump into why I get to talk to you guys. One of the things, I watch a lot of movies, and one of the things I love about this movie, one of the many things, is that I never could predict what the next scene was going to be. Right. I also love how the script never demonizes anyone. It, it never judges. So can you both talk about the script and honestly how good it is? It's so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really hard to believe that it's Sammy Birch's first script yeah. um, that she wrote on spec. I think it's um, there's so many brilliant choices and there's so much like unspoken conflict and drama in the scenes that sometimes would reveal itself to me while we right. were doing it. Like yeah. I, I would think, oh, this is like a tiny little scene. And then we'd start saying it. And I was like, oh, there's all these lines that have almost been erased in right. here. Like all of the, everything's between the lines. It's so well written. Um, and there's amazing things that she brought into it. Like I, I felt like her casting experience before the casting yeah. scenes. As I know, she really is like, that. that's, yeah. <laughs> that's like, uh, something that's so kind of wicked and in the script, um, the the casting of the boys of young Joe, and I think only she could have, you know, conjured that up. Yeah, it was it was deceptively simple. The language that was that was the thing, and then and then I said to Sammy too, when you get into it, it's like really muscular. It could hold a lot, a lot of feeling and a lot of humor, and 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 it would be and sometimes the language when we would say it to one another, you realize how challenging it was that one character was kind of challenging another, but it didn't seem that way on the page. It yeah. just when it came out of your mouth, you'd be like, whoa. <laughs> The other thing about this, which most people won't realize, is you didn't have a lot of time to shoot this. I want to say it was like 23 days yes. or something like that. As an actor, do you enjoy that pressure of knowing I might only have two takes, I have to nail this, or is it, you know what I mean? Because it's so different than if you're making a bigger film. Well, I think when you have a director as, as prepared and precise and visionary as Todd is, that you can feel comfortable in that scenario and then it just becomes fun. Like you're all just like in it and the train's going and you're just like, everyone's on their A game. And like you're saying, you know, has to kind of execute to, to make, make it work. Um, and he's such a great leader for that because he really gets everyone on the same page and, and knows exactly what he's going to do and is so professional and on it because you can't, you can't be anything but, um, and, and then he's just like the most, genuine, kind, yeah. loving, um, and, and just a beautiful artist. So it's, it's 
like when you're in those hands, you can kind of do anything. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to add? Yeah, you always want more time. But, you know, it's like they say in preschool, you get what you get. You don't get upset. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> you're like, well, you know, here we go. But, but it's true. I think, I think people knowing that that's what it was and that we had to be prepared and Todd was so prepared. Um, that just makes you, you're like, well, okay, we're, we're, we're ready. We're just, we're just going to figure this out, you know? Um, so yeah. And Todd's also very joyful. You know, he, he laughs. I mean, that's the other thing too. You can always hear him laughing. Um, and, and when he does laugh, you know, that he's, he's getting what he wants, you know? So it's, it's very encouraging. Like I said earlier, I'm a big fan of both of your work and you guys have done such tremendous work through your careers. I'm just curious with the previous projects you've worked on, what do you think was the one that before you stepped on set, I'm really nervous about this, like on a level that is not usual for me. Oh, I'm like, all of them. Oh, I'm always nervous. <laughs> I'm always like, nervous. I'm always yeah. terrified. Yeah. Um, I think Jackie was especially scary for me because it was a real, very well-known person. So I was like, oh boy, like if this is a fail, this is the biggest fail. Cause like everyone will recognize it. It's not like you can be like, I'm, you know, making it up, you know, you're really, you know, comparing yourself to something that's very, someone who's very well-documented. That was yeah. scary. That was the hardest probably, but I'm always scared. I'm always scared too. I was scared right before we were doing this. I actually called Todd. I was like, I don't think I can do this. This is way harder than I thought. <laughs> um, but I, but I think, I think the worst thing for me was having to sing in Dear Evan Hansen, which I really wanted to do. I love that song and I really wanted to sing it, but I thought I would swallow my tongue. I was so scared. I was like, I'm going to choke. I'm, I'm literally going to choke on my own saliva in the middle of this. It was so, was it, you did it live. Yeah, we did it live. Wow. I was like, why are we doing this live? This is a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got to, I, I have to wrap, but I have to say yeah. I'm a big fan of that movie and Aww, I still can't yeah. believe what Ben does oh, in terms amazing. of the singing and the crying at the same time. Yeah. He's it's such a crazy. beautiful, beautiful singer. That voice is just like magic and his ease when he sings and his access to his emotions. I just admire him so much. It's beautiful, beautiful. I agree. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on this. You. Thank you for giving Thank me you. your time. Good luck with the rest of your speed dating. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's what it's like. It 